Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Galini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, a lot of you have asked, why are the letters HCL appearing after some people's creatine and some people's glutamine? What does that mean? Well, HCL stands for hydrochloric acid. Um, when you bond or react some organic agent with hydrochloric acid, what you develop is a salt form of that original agent. So let's talk about creatine first of all. Why would you want to bind or react hydrochloric acid with creatine? Well, the whole claim to fame with creatine HCL is by doing this, it goes into solution better than creatine monohydrate. Who cares? Creatine monohydrate is water soluble at the recommended level. Creatine HCL talks about we're more soluble at 50 grams per 16 ounces, 100 grams, 150. Like I said, who cares? Has nothing to do with the price of rice. But let me tell you what happens is you start out with creatine monohydrate, which is 99% pure, you end up with only 40% creatine. The rest is this new hydrochloric salt. So you're actually getting less creatine um, than what you started with. So again, no benefits. The other problem is we already know that by lowering the pH of creatine monohydrate, we are going to start to convert some of that creatine to creatinine, which is a bile waste. So we're also going to find higher levels of creatinine in a creatine HCL product. Their claim to fame that it is absorbed quicker, it's absorbed better, it's more bile available, doesn't exist. No research, fabricated, nothing more than a marketing ploy. So stay away from those forms, they're not very good. Now when you see them with amino acids, um, this is a way to basically um, pre-digest, put them into a um, more user-friendly, so to say, um, form. It does help to make them water-soluble, but we aren't using a lot of hydrochloric acid. So when you see glutamine HCL, you are still getting a 99% pure glutamine, not like the creatine where it's really a ploy to get the cost down. So that's the skinny when you see HCL after something, whether it be a vitamin or a Creatine, basically, we are taking that starting material, reacting it with hydrochloric acid to form some salt for some particular reason. All right, that's the scoop today, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.